Carragher believes Klopp and Michael Edwards have obviously fallen out amid discussion of Arna Slot's potential hiring. Jamie Carragher suggests that there is a division between departing Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp and chief Michael Edwards, indicating that Edwards's return coincides with Klopp's impending departure. Recently, it was confirmed that Edwards rejoined the club after a two-year absence. The club owners, FSG, invited Edwards back to assist in overseeing a restructure following Klopp's announcement in January about his departure at the end of the season. However, Carragher, speaking on the Stick to Football podcast, sponsored by Skybet, suggests that Edwards' return is not coincidental and likely linked to Klopp's future. Carragher observes, What's intriguing is Michael Edwards, the sporting director, was initially there with Klopp, but evidently they've had a falling out for undisclosed reasons, and many of his team members have departed. He continues, The moment Klopp leaves, it's as if the old team is reunited. Clearly, something has transpired behind the scenes. FSG believed it was crucial to reinstate that structure rather than focusing on the next manager. There's no doubt that Michael Edwards is returning with full authority to manage this club. His role has even expanded as they intend to acquire other clubs. Carragher expresses concern about the future, suggesting that the new manager might simply serve as a coach. Feyenoord manager Arne Slot is the leading candidate to replace Klopp. Anfield officials have initiated contact with the Dutch champions, offering compensation for the 49-year-old who lacks a release clause in his contract. It's anticipated that a fee exceeding $10 million will be necessary to secure slot services, and he intends to bring along several of his staff members, including assistant Sipke Hulshoff. Negotiations to bring slot to Anfield are progressing rapidly, with a resolution possible before the weekend. However, when discussing the potential appointment, Carragher voiced his concerns. He worries that Slot may not command the same level of respect among supporters as other candidates, such as Zabi Alonso, or past managers like Klopp, Rafa Benitez, and Gerard Julia. Responding to Roy Keane's inquiry about whether Slot's appointment would be exciting, Carragher flatly replied, No, elaborating on his reasoning. I'd assume Zabi Alonso was at the top of the list due to his achievements at Bayer Leverkusen and his strong connection with the fans. That's significant, and as a Liverpool fan, it's a bit troubling for me. When Liverpool has thrived in the Premier League era, Julia and Rafa enjoyed successful spells of trophy wins over two to three years, and Klopp has done the same. There's been a genuine connection with the fans. Anfield comes alive, and you feel like progress is being made. As a Liverpool supporter, you want a manager on the sidelines who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Pep Guardiola. Thomas Tuchel has demonstrated that ability. Don't underestimate the importance of the connection with the Liverpool fanbase. And we need more than just a yes-man as a coach behind the scenes. Slot, previously eyed by Tottenham and Chelsea last summer, has enjoyed remarkable success since joining Feyenoord in 2021, emerging as one of the most innovative coaches in European football. His achievements at Feyenoord have positioned him as a prime candidate to succeed Klopp at Anfield, prompting Liverpool to intensify their pursuit of the 45-year-old. Initially, there were reports linking Liverpool with Alonso, who has excelled with Bayer Leverkusen. However, Alonso expressed his desire to remain in Germany, leading to Ruben Amarim becoming the front-runner according to bookmakers. Amarim, who has a $12 million release clause in his contract, recently discussed his inability to provide guarantees about his future with Sporting Lisbon. Liverpool had also considered Brighton's Roberto De Zerbi, but are now shifting away from Amarim, who is being pursued by West Ham United, according to Mail Sports report on Monday.